Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I bless the body of Mrs. Barbara Duca with the holy water that recalls her baptism, of which St. Paul writes, All of us we were baptized in Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we are buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. I will now sprinkle the casket with holy water, incense it, and call on the family and Reverend Gerald to place the pal on the casket. On the day of her baptism, Barbara put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed with glory. Amen. Amen. We shall now bring the body into the main church for filing pass and the reading of tributes.
Shall we please be seated as the choristers continue singing?
Welcome you to the burial mass for the late Mrs. Barbara Duca, whose remains lies in front of us. This is St. James Catholic Church here in Osu. You are most welcome. And so quickly we'll start the foul passing. So we'll foul pass to pay our last respect to our late mother, sister, friend before the mass begins. And while we do that, we shall prepare ourselves for the tributes. So if we have, she was a member of the Thursday Bones group here in St. James. So if you have the rep from the Thursday Bones, we kindly invite you to take the tributes in her honor, please. Thursday Bones. the late Mrs. Barbara Duca by St. James Catholic Church Thursday Bones, the leaders of the way. And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, write this, blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds will follow them. Revelations 14, 13. Parties come and pass are broken. Loved ones go with words unspoken. Our consolation is that our sister, who has been an ardent member of Thursday Bonds, died in the Lord. Auntie Barbara, 
as he was affectionately called, was an active Catholic and a proud Thursday born, a leader of the way. Her commitment to serve God was evident in her participation in church and the group's activities. She hardly missed our meetings and group activities. She was much generous, very quiet, soft-spoken, and always had smiles. Auntie Barbara Duca, we thank God for your life, and we also ask him to grant you rest in his bosom till we meet again. We are consoled by the fact that you are in a better place where there is no night, no more weeping, and no more pain. The leadership and members of the entire Thursday Bond say, fare thee well, and we ask the Lord Almighty to keep you till we meet again. Rest in peace, the year. Amen. So that was the tribute by the Thursday Bonds. If we have the colleagues from Ebri, Ebri Girls, if we have colleagues from Ebri Girls, we'll humbly invite the rep to do us the honors to take the tribute on their behalf, please. Ebri Girls. If we do not have Ebri Girls, then we have the... Okay. So after a brief girl, the siblings should get ready with their tributes. After a brief girl, the siblings should get ready. The one to read on behalf of the siblings kindly gets ready. After a brief girl, please. May the peace of the Lord be with you. This is a tribute to our late sister, Barbara Doru, Mrs. Juka, from the Abrigal Secondary School. This is from the 1975 year group. Your last presence on our platform was a deleted post dated 19th December 2021. This gets us wondering what words you wanted to share with us. Then on the 27th, Liliana Joba announced your passing. Life hugs, whereas death, as they say in tree, goes after the dearest possessions of the living. We know death is inevitable, but it will never fail to shock. It is so final. This parting here on earth, the announcement, of course, is pure disbelief, denial. Why? Oh, why? Oh, no. 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 So sad from all your sisters on the year group platform. And the questions, was she unwell? What happened? Where did it occur? Spring from your sisters, Rose, Doris, Ama, Frippoma, Syrian, Mercy, Henrietta, Beryl, and your namesake, Barbara, who stands here today. It was so sad. The news, indeed, our sisters Abna, Nina Gogo, and Gladys noted. Terrible news to wake up to, as Joyce B. and Mercy Nemako said. Sad, shocking news that we have lost another sister, says Gifty. Harriet and Yah, not the kind of the news anyone wants to wake up to, Lydia reminds us. And Wendy, 
whom you have been comforting since her loss, is left perplexed. Grace O.L. agrees that it is really sad to lose one of our own. In your characteristic considerate matter, manner, you kept your ill health from the platform not to burden your dear sisters, of course. The few who knew of your health were still not spared the shock. Adwecha recollects that morning of the 27th December, they rushed the Legon Specialist Hospital where they heard of your admission, only to learn that you had passed on to glory a few hours earlier. They are yet to come to terms with your demise since they were hopeful, hopeful of your recovery. Although we are so reeling from your sudden death, dear sister friend Barbara, we are humbled and touched by your time with us here. For most of us of this 1975 year group, the sisterly bond began in 1970. For a few like sisters Nina Gogo, Equia B, Ago Chocho, Gifty, Catherine, Caroline, Lillian, Abna, it began earlier at the Abri Demonstration Middle Girls School. You have been one of a kind, unique and caring as Wendy reminds us. Yes, as Shelley puts out, you have been a blessing to us all. We all agree with her that we are blessed to have had you with us in this special way. Your departure has robbed us of your hospitality and kindness. A child reminds us painfully, you touched so many lives and are assured by Dor President Doris that your legacy will live on. And we remain grateful for your life as Gladys A says, yours is one name we will not forget easily, especially spent on by the sharp rebuke, was it from Miss Crook, that Doris reminds us of Syrian Sawyer, get off the field, and Barbara Dodo, get off too. We remember you for so many loving moments. First, your sweet, beautiful, dimpled smile and the pure white teeth behind it that lightened up your face and your beautiful eyes, Amma remembers. Hear this from President Doris. Barbara was so cheerful, showing her dimples with her sweet smiles. Rose echoes the same, your captivating smile and dimples which spoke volumes. So Sister Barbara, Lady Dimple, it is your warm and lovely smile your dimples, that is so vivid on our minds. We agree with Gladys and Amati reminds us how your expressive dimpled smile exuded that calmness that made it easy to be around you. If you look at her picture now, you'll still see the dimple. Barbara always wore this dimpled smile in a beautiful set of teeth. You invested in and celebrated sisterhood. Here, President Doris tells us how when she charged the year group for missing to celebrate her birthday, you were pivotal in preparing the surprise celebration for her 61st. She remembers fondly how you came all the way to Community 18 in Tema to celebrate with her. Doris B remembers her pleasant surprise when some 25 years after we had left school, you appeared in her pharmacy one evening with your husband to meet her. Your husband had reported that he had discovered your classmate, and you made it to meet with her. Mercy A, the controller of our accounts, laments the loss of a conscientious contributor to the financial standing of the group. And she states, her, she states that's about you. Barbara made sure she paid every contribution we were, she was asked to make. She took advantage of all our meetings to pay up her dues. She was always, she will always call, I've sent this amount. Her last call was to say that she had asked her sisters to send her contribution because she was not well and could not attend her sister's mom's funeral. For Nancy, her love for you was based on your kind and gentle nature. She remembers how during our school days at Abri, you would always strike up a conversation even though you were not in the same house. One such conversation was about the fact that you were called Sweetie at home. Never mind her protest about Barbara, what is sweet about you? She blames youthful ignorance. Now older, she understands and why. You are just so sweet, she tells us. A fact that is shared by Amma 
because you are someone everyone can approach all the time. Nina Ago remembers the friendship that developed after the meeting with her mom. She will miss your telephone calls. Catherine tells us how the close-knit friendship of you, her, and Lydia grew deeper with Lydia's relocation to the UK. A friendship that grew into a business partnership, sustained by your kind-heartedness and caring nature, inside and out. She was helpful, hopeful that you would recover to continue your business. President Doris expressed our innermost feelings when she said that, Barbara, you have gone too soon, but we know you are resting in his presence now. An assurance that Sister Mercy N shares when she says that you have left this world free from pain and harm, resting in peace and comfort. So we produce here re-rendered posts by Tilly on our platform, authored by David Harkins. We choose to. We can choose to. Shed tears that you are gone. Or smile because you lived. Close our eyes and pray that you will come back. Open our eyes and see all you have left. Our hearts can be empty because we can't see you. We can be full of the love that we shared. We can turn back on tomorrow and live yesterday. Or be happy for tomorrow because yesterday has passed. We can remember you and only that you are gone. Or cherish your memory and let it live on. We can cry and close our mind. Be empty and turn our back. Surely, we can and will do what we would want to. Smile, open our lives, open our eyes, love, and go on. We extend our condolences to our, your family. As Rose states, you'll be sorely missed. And we share her prayer that the wonderful many moments you shared with our girls will bring them much needed comfort and healing. We wish you rest in peace, and we know you will, because Lena Joba and Catherine, who saw you at the last hour, assured us that you are at peace. What else could we expect from a gentle, sweet soul such as yours? Your namesake, Barbara O, insists, Yawo Joba. Yes, sleep, sweet, sweetie. Sister Barbara, sweet sleep. Thank you for your hearing. Thank you, Ebri Girls 1975 year group. So we shall now take the tributes from the siblings. We shall take the tribute from the siblings. And the one to take on behalf of the St. James Catholic Church kindly stand by. After that, we shall have the very last tributes, and then we we'll begin the burial mass. Tribute from siblings. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. Today, we celebrate the life of a sister giving thanks to God for the years we had and the closeness that we shared. He called you sweetie, so gentle, loving and full of humor, because that was who you were. We wish you had stayed with us a little longer to play the mother role you assumed and took on, but the Lord knows this. Memories of you will be of deep affection and gratitude for all that you stood for and for all that you did for us. We say thank you, sis. A million times we will miss you. A million times we will cry. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have died. We love you, sis. We have lost a special friend. Sweetie, you were a special person to speak with, a special person to listen to, a special person to laugh with, a special person to those you knew, a special person we all love a special sister to us. Though your smile is gone forever and your hand we cannot touch, we have many memories of the one we love so much. 
Your memory is our keepsake, with which we will never part. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our hearts. Barbara, sweetie, nada kwa. We miss you already. You will forever be our sweetie, and forever have a special place in our hearts. Rest peacefully in the bosom of the Lord until we meet again. Rest in peace, sis. So that was tribute by the siblings. So we shall now take that of St. James Catholic Church. St. James Catholic Church. And after this, we shall take that of the husband. So kindly take notes. And that, that's the, that will be the last tribute for us to begin the burial mass. So the power bearers be getting ready, stand by, and after the last tribute, you shall have to, with the family heads as well. Tribute by St. James Catholic Church, Osu. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Romans 14, 17. St. James Catholic Church, Osu, was deeply saddened and grieved by the passing of her sister Barbara, as we affectionately call her. The late Mrs. Barbara Duca was a member of the defunct St. Maron's Catholic Church since the 1970s. A beautiful and elegant young lady who always attended church with her family. Later met and married her dear husband, Mr. Duca, in holy matrimony at St. Maron's in 1989. Together as a couple, her faith in the church strengthened further to the admiration of those who knew her. In 1991, she left the shores of Ghana to the United States of America and returned in 1999. Since then, she had been a member of the St. Maron's community, now St. James Catholic Church, Osu. Being born in the Catholic Church, the late Barbara became an avowed member of the St. James community, where her zeal for church activities made her join the St. James Adult Choir, and her performance was par excellence. She was with the First Day Born Group, and her attendance to Sunday Masses was exceptional. Late Mrs. Barbara Duca sought the growth of her faith by constantly praying the Holy Rosary and never missed parish Holy Rosary sections as well as general parish programs. For her, the assurance was in Romans 14, 7, for none of us lives to himself, and no man died to himself, but we are for the Lord. Apostle Paul declared in Romans 14, 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Mrs. Barbara Duca's personality was nothing less of this quote, as she was full of satisfaction and had delight in the Lord. She was friendly, peaceful, quiet, and had a calm demeanor. Equally, she was affable, humble, and unassuming, which characterized her Christian life. So we meet again. We, the Catholic faithful of St. James Catholic Church of Sioux, say farewell, Barbara, on your journey to your maker. Our Lord, who makes all things possible, give your gentle soul internal rest and peace. Amen. So that was a tribute from the St. James Catholic Church here in Osu. We shall now take the tribute from the husband, Mr. Duca. And that will be the very last tribute for the burial mass to begin. The biography will be read at post-communion. So please take notes. 
So the power bearers kindly stand by, like I said, the family heads. So just after his tributes, you put things in order for us to begin. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So men see, see things as they are and see why. I dream things that never were and say why not. Robert F. Kennedy, former Attorney General of America. In everyone's life, there comes a time of ultimate challenge, a time when all our resources are tested, a time when life seems unfair, a time when our faith our values, our patience, our compassion, our ability to persist are all pushed to the limit and beyond. Some have used this such test as opportunities for growth. Others have turned away and allowed these experiences to destroy their hopes. For me, at this sad moment, I will continue to walk by faith which the scriptures say is substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. No words on my part can possibly express the terrible pain and suffering I feel over this tragic incident. This has been an agonizing time for me, for most of our friends, and the grief we feel over the loss of a wonderful wife will remain with us the rest of our lives. Many thanks to those who gave us support and encouragement through her sickness. And all to whom her passing, especially the moment of it, has brought such a deep and harrowing sense of loss. We lost Barbara that fateful Monday morning, but we'll continue to wait for her so that her time, which was cruelly cut short, will live forever in our memory and our regard and broken hearts. People who live as she did, sacrificing so much for the things they believe in, pursuing so courageously the visions which beckon them, do so in faith. We are buoyed up by the faith that those who come after will continue the quest and reach where they could not go. So we honor our sister for her faith. She lived by the faith and promise of St. Paul. Let us not grow weary in doing good, for in this season we will reap if we do not lose heart. If there is one verse of scripture which captures her best, it is perhaps the description of a gracious woman in the final chapter of the book of Proverbs. It says, Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughed at the time to come. Strength, dignity, and laughter. Three great gifts which we honor and celebrate today. Barbara's strength as a person was expressed best through the remarkable quality of her dealings with people. Her ability to make all human encounters, however fleeting, feel, bo feel both special and personal. She always expressed one of the most fundamental of, of all rules and relationships that of simply being a mother, a mom, and a sister. For your family, that material strength given across the generation to children, grandchildren, has been a precious gift and blessing. In good times and bad, she never lost the capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. Baba was a serious woman who branded our lives with a smile and a grace. God gave her many gifts. God gave her many burdens, and she used these gifts to touch as many lives and right as many wrongs as the years will allow. Baba dedicated her life to love, and she died through that effort. Our marriage was not a perfect marriage. We were not a perfect couple, yet we were called to a perfect mission. Our mission, to have reverence for God and obey his command. 
Brother did not know my father, my mother, my, my mother. But she met my father. My father loved Barbara. He traveled all the way from Cape Coast to grace our wedding. When he saw Barbara, he told her, he is my son. I gave him my name, Samuel George Duca. If he meets this, come and tell me. I will equip him with this by walking stick. But what do you say about someone who gave you life, your life meaning? What do you say about someone who was always there with support and understanding? Someone who made sacrifices so that your life will be easier and successful. I think it's all too common in marriages that no matter how much partners love each other, you don't thank each other enough. And I suppose I did not thank Barbara enough for her, all that she did for me. So Barbara, in front of all your friends and relations here today, let me say thank you for all that you did for me. Thank you for your love. And thank you for just being you. She gave me strength and purpose, joy and friendship, and stood by me always, especially in those last hardest days. But though it is Barbara's story of achievement that you remember, it's a giving heart that you will miss. She was a friend who was the first to pick up the phone and say, I'm sorry for your loss. She always reminded me of my birthday when I had forgotten about it. A great love for people is rooted in a Catholic faith. She had a deep faith in the goodness of God and, the, and in the essential goodness of man as a creature of God. I love her crowd for her beautiful plains and her willingness to accept strangers to live on her lands. I love Accra, especially the Dodu family of Kologoro. I love Accra for her daughter, Mrs. Barbara Dada Kwaduka, the love and light of my life. When the sun sets off the coast of Kologoro and we lay to rest, Mrs. Barbara Nanda Kwaduka, a great every girl's story will close. She was full of kindness towards everybody and everything. Never did, did she give the, the impression of the dominary, always of serving and helping. Barbara was extremely conscientious, without allowing anything to assume undue importance. A subtle humor gathered her, which is written in her eyes and smile. She accepted who she was, but cared more about what she could, do, she could and should become. She had an amazing grace. As it is written in the words of a hymn I learned in the primary school, though the cause of evil prophets, yet it is truth alone is strong. Though her portion be the scaffold and upon the throne be wrong, yet that scaffold sways the future. And behind the dim unknown standard God within the shadows, keeping watch above his own. In the twel twilight of her life, Mrs. Duca knew that lesson well. This, I feel certainly, is a faith she wants us all to keep. In all she did or attempted during her life, Barbara was imbued with a sense of dedication. The richness of her personality and the diversity of her interests and her accomplishment as a mother, wife, sister, and a friend will be cherished by posterity. May her example of courage and fortitude be an inspiration to us the living and our offspring. Barbara, the kind of fear for Kenyan. Amen.
So while the priests file past the remains of our sister, we shall take the biography. We shall take the biography. So just after that, the mass begins, please. So that indicates that it is not time, a time has closed for any other person who wants to file past. After the priest, we are closing the casket, please. So that after this, the power bearers, you can come closer and the family heads to perform your closing of the casket. Let's take the biography now. The biography of Barbara City Na Dakwa Duka Medodu. Barbara Na Dakwa Duka was born on 21st June 1956 to Daniel Isaac Dodu and Mrs. Monica Dodu, both of blessed memory. As a second born and first daughter, she was a dear sister to the five siblings she lives behind, two brothers and three sisters. As a little girl, Barbara's now late mother, Mrs. Monica Dodu, fittingly gave her our beloved Barbara the pet name, Sweetie, because of her sweet countenance and smile. That name stayed with her throughout her life. Barbara started her schooling at the South Labadi Experimental School at South Labadi and then to Ibri Demonstration School, Ibri. When she sat for her common entrance examination and gained admission to Ibri Girls Secondary School from 1970 to 1975. In 1977, she earned a diploma in business studies, secretarial, from Accra Polytechnic. Technic. And that same year, started her work experience as a secretary at the United States Embassy, Usu, Accra. Barbara worked at the U.S. Embassy for 14 years. In 1989, Barbara married the love of her life, George Ekoduka. The two later moved to the U.S. in 1991, where they lived for eight years and returned to Ghana in 1999. Barbara was a loving, caring, supportive wife, auntie, and a sister. She was humorous and loved to joke. She always filled the room with her laughter and comfort. She was, a very, she was very kind to all who knew her, always willing to assist in any way she could. Siti was a devoted Catholic, loved the Lord Almighty, and was very prayerful. She was dedicated to the service of God and loved to sing in the church choir. When she, when, even when she relocated from Laboni to Achimota, she continued attending Mass at the parish church, St. James Catholic Church, Usu. Barbara is at peace, but her memory will always be in the hearts of all who knew her. City will be greatly missed by her siblings, nephews, nieces and friends although it is sad to see her depart we thank god for making it possible to have our dear barbara in our lives barbara passed from this life to her eternal home on monday 27 december 2021 may the lord keep you in the bosom and grant you a well-deserved rest you will forever miss your beautiful smile, Barbara. City, Nada Kwa, Auntie City, rest in peace. Yawo, Ojibwa. Amen.
So it's now time for mass. So let's prepare ourselves for the burial mass for the lead Mrs. Barbara Duca. So let's kindly get seated. Let's get settled whilst we begin mass. To the family and the powerless who take charge and ensure we are set to begin the mass, please. Thank you. Number 308. 308.
behalf of the parish priest, I'll say I thank him for asking me to be the main celebrant for this celebration. We are celebrating the event of Christ, event of God, who has given us a gathering like this. Event of the victory he has won for us. The event of the victory we call death. We have heard all the tributes. We have heard the life of our sister Barbara. So that the words of Christ, the joy he gives us no one can take from us, strengthen you, renew you in faith, dry away your tears, and hope in the Lord. Hope that you and I one day we shall die. So we are rehearsing our own what? Death. But we just want to thank the good Lord who has given us a gathering of this nature. May he renew us with his promises as promised children and celebrate this in faith. I would like to thank Mr. Duca as I read your tribute saying, one of the things you fail to do is usually to thank Barbara. God has given us an occasion to say thank you. The Mass is thanking God. So let us never forget our simple duty on earth is to serve and to thank. That's all. And that's what Christ came to do. So Christ will speak to us in this Mass and give us the strength to go and bury our sister. And give us the strength, those of us where our time has not come, to see how we live. So one day he calls us and we also respond to Barbara, to respond as Barbara did, that Lord, I'm coming to you. Barbara experienced the sufferings and pains of this human body. So we just want to say thank God for bringing this to a fruitful end. And thank the doctors and nurses who took care and the relatives with her. We all saw what happened. So we need not weep, but we need the words of God to comfort and console us. So Jesus will say, and the wisdom writer will say, the favors of the Lord is not finished. So let's celebrate in hope. Therefore, with all your intentions and others who have died that we are praying for, that may the good Lord grant eternal rest to these souls, especially Barbara. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. With these words from Ezra, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us be quiet for some few seconds. Since we are not perfect and holy before God, and ask for his forgiveness, so that he renews us in hope to celebrate this mass of his presence among us with hope, joy, perseverance, and peace. Silence your heart as you call to mind our sins. Grant to us, O Lord, a heart renewed, recreating us your spirit, Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thought. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting.
us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your handmaid Barbara, whom you have called this day to journey to you. And since she hoped and believed in you, grant that she may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated and we listen to the first reading. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastise the little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took to them himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dash about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love. Because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord.
came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus arrived in Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord.
to the family of our mother and sister Barbara Nada Kwan, I'll say that may God console you and may he give you strength at this time of grief. Amen. And indeed to all of us who are gathered here, because in one way or the other, we have related with Na Dakwa Barbara, I would still say that may God be our consolation. Amen. One renowned writer, his name is Wordsworth. Wordsworth. He once wrote that our real consolation comes in the faith that looks through death. End of quote. Words worth. Our real consolation comes in the faith. Jidie Hemokeyeli the faith that looks through death. So this morning, even as we are gathered around the mortal remains of Barbara, my prayer is that our faith about the mystery of death will be reinforced. That we will have the right faith concerning death. And that faith will strengthen us. Amen. I would be preaching on a theme from the first reading, yes, but then also from the Catholic hymn number 349, 349, when in the last line of that hymn, the writer says, In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. And I'll ask the organist to lead us pray the stanzas of this hymn, Abide with me, fast falls the even tide. The darkness deepens. Lord with me, abide. When other helpers fail and comfort flee help of the helpless O oh Lord abide with me Eyes 
shine through the gloom and points me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and as we shadows flee. The faith that we must have that looks through death it is faith that lives with a conviction that in so far as the Lord abides with you in life and in death you are safe. If you listen carefully to the first reading from Wisdom chapter 3, verse 1 through to verse 9, the writer would end by saying that those who understand truth, those who understand truth shall abide in him those who understand truth shall abide in his love if you want to be specific with some particular test shall abide in his love and the faithful will know what grace and mercy amen Amen. Amen. This conviction was what led Barbara on in life. I recall the night before she died, I had a phone call from her sister, or towards even tide, evening. She called and said, Father, can you help us? my sister has been taken to ugma and can you come and pray with her and anoint her i said oh my god because i was far away it was a sunday evening i was far away as far as kaswa to see my mother so i was thinking what can i do can i make a phone call should i drive back then the following morning, Monday, I called the sister. And the sister said, Father, it is okay. She has gone to be with the Lord. But we got Father Kujo that night. Is that so? And he came to anoint her. And I said, okay, then we thank God. Beloved, the journey that we all are on is a journey that will end one day. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we are ignoring this fact. Or we are ignorant of this fact but the fact is that this journey will end one day even for God's own son Jesus Christ at the point his journey ended and his journey ended at age of 33 hello hello do you agree with me his journey ended at age 33 so why is it that we human beings are refusing to come to terms with reality that even if the son of god 
his journey came to an end his earthly journey came to an end at a certain age why is it that we are refusing uh, to accept uh, this I was preaching one day and I mentioned that I saw a funeral poster an obituary and the person was 99 years and they captured at the top born too soon 99 years yes and I said I so much agree with them by writing born too soon because if you should compare our life on earth to eternity then even if you are 200 years it is still too soon because eternity is long the reason why you and I should live conscious of eternity too many of us are denying the reality of death I was sitting at a funeral mass one day when Father Takwe, a very renowned and seasoned priest, was preaching when he described in a story, in a story how people deny death, that someone was once admitted in a hospital and the person was on bed, bed number four. On the first day of the person's admission at the hospital, someone from bed number one died. On the second day, someone from bed number two died. According to Father Atakwe, it is not my story. Don't come and ask me which hospital was that. He is here. You can ask him himself. On the third day, he said someone from bed number three died. So the person who was admitted at the hospital called the nurses, bed number four. He said, please, change my bed. Give me bed ten. Because I go came back. On that fourth day, he said, according to Father Atakwe, someone from bed number nine died <laughs> and he realized that no matter the bed you are on you will go friends i know we are grieving i know we are in pain but we can afford to laugh but it is the reality we are talking about that we would die one day so if we live in our consciousness that we will die one day, then why is it that some of us are doing some of the things we are doing? We are robbing and cheating one another as though we will live here forever. We are massing so much as out of robbing people, out of twisting the hand of people just to make wealth for yourself but you have forgotten that death is a reality and when you die whatever you have accumulated you cannot put in this narrow box hello you cannot put in this narrow box some of us are going about backstabbing others to hold claim to fame and friendships have you forgotten that you will die haven't you seen people who have held claim to fame die before have you not seen presidents buried before some of us go about you think you are the boldest you are so powerful you think you are so beautiful. Haven't you seen a beautiful woman buried before? Look at Barbara, even in death. How beautiful she was looking. We need to change our mindsets and how we live life. You see, for the friends of Mary and Martha, they did the needful. 
what we are doing to commiserate uh, with one another to mourn with those who mourn they did the needful but for me that test in john chapter 11 verse 17 to 27 the point in that scripture passage is as simple as this jesus saying to mary and martha that because he abided with lazarus whilst he was alive lazarus is safe that was a message so in the verse 26 into 27 jesus will say that anyone who dies believing in me even shall he live do you believe this friends what is important is those last lines in life in death oh lord abide with me i believe so much that barbara who served god regardless of her human limitations she was human she had her own sins but she still believed that the lord always abides with her and that is what will make her safe it is my prayer that god will grant her a merciful judgment and a peaceful rest amen but then it is my prayer also that you and i who have another chance to live on until we die will change certain things live right and allow the lord to abide with us now that we are alive so that when we die he will abide with us still may god bless his word in our hearts now and forever amen We are promised children of God. Shall we now stand up? Because we want to bring our petitions to God. We are his promised children. Let us down petition our needs at this event that we are celebrating in Christ Jesus. At the end of every intention, our response shall be... pray to God for the families of Duka and Dudu. Let us commit them to God Almighty. Let us pray that may the departure of our mother, our sister, our friend will increase the love of these two families. Shall we pray to God? Lord, Let's continue to pray in a special way for the widower, committing him into the hands of God to continue to console him, to strengthen him, to provide for him, 
to be his support in these difficult times. For this, let us pray to God. Let us also pray for the siblings and the children that Auntie Sweetie has left behind. That God Himself will continue to provide for them. That this departure will not be seen. That God will replace her with Himself and provide for them. For this, let us pray to God. Let us pray for all of us who are grieving for the loss of one a friend, a family member, or any other relative, that may the departure of Auntie Barbara bring consolation to all of us who mourn and bring the joy of the resurrection to us. For this, let us pray to God. Lord, Pray thanking God for our lives, especially those of us here and those connected virtually, that God will bless the works of our hands, that God will expose to us all the good things, that God will make us grow in Him and in faith, and God will help us in this journey of our lives so that death will not take us by surprise. For this, let us pray to God. silence of our hearts shall we offer a prayer for our dear mother for our dear sister we seek the intercession of our lady as we pray hail mary Yes, Jesus, this is the woman whom you gave to us as our spiritual mother. As you said on the cross, woman, this is thy son. Son, this is thy mother. May she intercede for us, that we live our life of faith in you, who is Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
with the Lord. So I want us to respond at the end of the prayer over the gifts. We have brought our gifts to the altar, so let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. With the chalice we pray, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
partakers of this divine sacrifice, I invite you, brethren, pray that my intentions and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, this day for the salvation of your handmaid Barbara, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who reigns and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, a duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone, he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man, he chose to die, so that in your sight, we all might live forever. And so in company with the class of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. on the altar and counter our Christ as we pray. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke, broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. 
And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is our Savior Lord. He is John for all the if we die with the Lord, we shall live with the Lord. We shall live with the Lord. If we endure with the Lord, we shall reign with the Lord. We shall reign with the Lord. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for us and is risen from the dead. He is a saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John Bonaventure, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Barbara, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all your saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Having affirmed our life in Christ with Christ, let us now the Savior's command. Formed by divine teaching, create a prayer he taught us. Hey! 
Ukrainian tradum to Fiat voluntas tua Sicut in cello et in terra Pandem nostrum quotidianum Ad nobis odie Et dimite nobis demita nostra Sicut et not divitimus deritoribus nostres Et nos inducas in tetasione Sed libera nos amalo Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Gracious to God, peace in our days That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's wave one another with that peace of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for each and our life. Amen.
So this is the victory Christ has brought us here to celebrate. And therefore my communion antiphon will be all good things around us are sent from heaven above and thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. Shall we stand now about closing prayer? Lord God, whose son left us the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Barbara may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Kindly be seated for announcement. We shall now take our second collection. This is our donation to the family. We invite you to give generously to support the family. The choir will lead us.
Thank you very much, the choir. We are grateful. And so may I have your attention for the following announcements. So the family would like to notify us that it's a private burial. It's a private burial. So we would like to respect that for the family. And so just after the final closing, we sh there is a donation table that has been prepared at the hall. So from the entrance, you head left, it leads you to the hall. So you can give your, kind, your donation or kind gestures to the family. And also there are some snacks made available for you, though it's a private burial. So advantage points, you can just pick them, and then you are good to go. So may I now invite the family head, the family head to do a special assignment for us. Hello. The family have asked me to thank you this morning for a great work done. And tomorrow morning when the birds sing, heralding the presence of a new day, on behalf of the family I say thank you. And may the good Lord richly bless you. Thank you. So Sunday, 8.30 a.m., there will be Thanksgiving service here, Thanksgiving Mass here as well for, for it. So please, family and friends are welcome. Sunday, 8.30 a.m., Thanksgiving Mass. I'll now hand over to Reverend Father Emmanuel Binkujo, our parish priest, to do the rest of the announcement. Thank you. So before the final blessing, Permit me to make a couple of announcements. First of all, I would like to invite a member of the family to come and receive the donation. All of us here are given to them. Permit me to introduce our religious sisters and priests who are here with us. We have your sister, Mercy Stephanie Asan, HDL, from St. Teresa's Parish, Kanishi. We have Sister Monica Ba, who came all the way from Shy Hills, from the Archbishop Andor Catechetical Center. We have Sister Gifty Agbaji, who is here with us and works at the business office at the cathedral. And we have Sister Ruth Mensa coming all the way from the Apostolic Vicariate of Donkokrum, Afram Plains, for this burial. For my senior brothers in the ministry, we have very Reverend Father Destiny Amenuvo, who gave us the homely, the priest in charge of Divine Mercy Catholic Church, Oponglo. We have very Reverend Father John Amwa, the parish priest of St. Anthony's Parish, Nungwa, and the dean of Osu Dinri. We have very Reverend Father Benjamin Ohene, the headmaster of St. Martin's Senior High School, Adwajiri in Sawum. We have Monsignor James Robert Myers from the Cape Coast Archdiocese, who is here with us on a leave. We have our own deacon, Reverend Gerald Amankwetia. Let's give him a round of applause. And we have very Reverend Father Peter Badu, who is also a member of the family and currently at Mother of Good Council Catholic Church, Airport West. And for the main celebrant, we had very Reverend Father Theodore Kwe, who is now on retirement, but still supporting us in active work. Thank you all for coming, and God bless you abundantly. Amen. I will humbly invite Father Ben Ohene to lead us in the final commendation as we all stand.
brothers and sisters in Christ with faith in Jesus Christ we reverently bring the body of our sister Barbara to be buried in its human imperfection let us pray with confidence to God who gives life to all things that he will raise up this mortal body of Barbara to the perfection and the company of the saints may God give her a merciful judgment and forgive all her sins may Christ the good shepherd lead her safely home to be at peace with God our Father and may she be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of the eternal king We shall respond receive her soul and present her to god the most high saints of god come to her aid come to meet her angels of the lord May Christ, who called you Barbara, take you to himself, and may angels lead you to Abraham's side. Give her eternal rest, O Lord, and may your light shine on her forever. Father, into your hands we commend our sister Barbara we are confident that with all who have died in Christ she will be raised to life on the last day and live with Christ forever we thank you for all the blessing you gave her in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ Lord hear our prayer welcome our sister Barbara to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our sister forever we ask this through Christ our Lord.
those for the flowers the reef please come for the reef and follow the mass server as the poor bearers get ready to carry the casket away for barrier children and grandchildren or family members for the reef family members for the reef follow the mass server the reef Please the reef The reef should follow the mass server please All of us should stay behind where we have. We have not closed, please. Let's all stay behind as our sister is solemnly taken away for Christian burial. The priest will raise their hands in prayerful farewell to our sister as the casket moves us gently and slowly. Barbara! Move. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you, Barbara. and take you to the holy city the new and eternal jerusalem barbara fared you well barbara fared you well barbara fared you well Turn round, you see the final blessing. The Lord be with you. In his goodness, may he pour his blessings upon you all. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Let us go in the feast of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.